IBFX offers 26 different currency pairs for trading. The market watch window by default only shows a handful of more frequently traded currency pairs. To view all currency pairs, right click anywhere in the market watch window and select show all. Currency pairs can also be removed one by one if you right click on a pair and select hide. To open a new chart, click on this button here. A brief list of pairs are listed here and you can find additional pairs listed under the Forex section here at the bottom. Choose your currency pair and the chart opens. There are three different chart types available, bar, candlestick and line. Forex users most typically use candlestick charts which can be changed by clicking on this button here, but whichever chart type you use is completely up to you. The platform offers a wide range of time frames and can be changed using these buttons here. M1 means one minute or one candle equals one minute of price data. H1 is an hourly chart, D1 is a daily chart, W1 is a weekly chart, and MN is a monthly chart. To add an indicator to a chart, double click on the indicator from the navigator window. A properties window will appear, allowing you to edit the indicator's properties. Just click OK when done. To place a new order, click on the New Order button here on the toolbar. The currency pair can be changed with this menu here. Volume is the amount of lots you'd like to trade. If you don't see the volume amount in the drop-down menu, you can directly type it in. Keep in mind that one on a standard account is one standard lot, or 100,000 units, and one on a mini account is one mini lot, or 10,000 units. A great tool IBFX offers its clients is the ability to trade less than one lot, as low as .01 of a lot for both standard and mini accounts. This is very convenient for new traders making the transition from a demo account to a live account, or for trying out new strategies. If you wish to add a stop loss or take profit before the order is placed, it can be included here. Just type in the desired price levels. When you're ready to place a trade, just click Sell or Buy. It's worth noting that Sell means to sell short. A confirmation then appears, showing details of the trade just placed. Once an order has been placed, it will show here in the terminal window under the Trade tab. To add, edit, or remove a stop loss or take profit, right-click anywhere on the order details and select Modify or Delete Order. There are two different ways to set a stop loss and take profit. The first method is to type in your desired price level here. The easier second method is to set the point amount in the level box, which will calculate the point selection from current market price. This is to say, for example, if you enter 10, the platform will use current market price to set a stop loss value of 10 points away from the current market price. To set the calculated price, click the Copy As button and then click the red Modify button when done. The IBFX Trader 4 platform offers point-by-point -point trailing stops that are easy to set up. Trailing stops can be enabled after an order is placed. First, right-click on an order, go to Trailing Stop, and select a point value. The trading platform requires a minimum 15-point trailing stop. Once a trailing stop is set, you will notice the letter T appears here in this icon by the order number. Trailing stops are used as a method to lock in profits made, not to prevent losses. Therefore, it is important to remember that a trailing stop is not triggered until a trade is positive the amount of pips the trailing stop was set for plus one. In other words, if a trailing stop is set for 15 pips, it will not become your stop loss until the trade has gone at least 16 points positive. It is wise to manually set a stop loss in addition to a trailing stop. Also, it is important to note that trailing stops reside on your computer. For trailing stops to work, your computer must be on and the platform needs to be open. To manually liquidate a position, double-click on the order and the order window will open. Select the yellow Close button here. Your closed positions will show in the terminal window under the Account History tab. 
pending orders are used as a means to enter the market at a future time and price. To place a pending order, open the new order window. Change the currency pair and lot size if necessary. Change the type menu here to pending order. There are four different pending order types. A buy limit is used to buy at a future price that is lower than the current market price. This is to say you expect the market to go down to a certain level, perhaps a support level, at which time you want to buy expecting the market to reverse and trend upward. Conversely, a sell limit is used to sell at a future price that is higher than current market price. A buy stop is used to buy at a future price higher than current market price. That is to say you expect the market to trend up and you wish to enter the market expecting the trend to continue. Conversely, a sell stop will sell at a future price lower than current market price. Once the order type is selected, set the desired entry price. This price must differ from the current market price by at least three pips. An expiration date can be set if desired. Please note that the expiration date and time is based off the platform's date and time, which is in GMT. If the expiration is left unchecked, the pending order will remain open until filled. Click Place when done. It is also important to note that the platform will allow a pending order in excess of available margin to be placed. If the account has insufficient margin when the pending order's entry price is reached, the order will be rejected by the trade server and the trade will be removed. Also notice that pending orders show in the trade tab below the gray balance bar and live orders appear above the gray balance bar.